Hey everyone and welcome to this new video in the AWS playlist. This video is super important for all cloud and DevOps engineers because you get questions about this topic in the interviews a lot. You will also get questions on this topic in the AWS certification exams. So make sure you follow this video till the end. In this video, we are going to discuss scalability and high availability. So in the previous video, we have seen how to create an EC2 instance and we have created only one EC2 instance. What if you have more customers coming to your website and you want to increase the size of your instance? You can do it using scalability. So what is scalability? Scalability is a system's ability to handle more users or tasks by expanding resources like CPU and RAM of your server, ensuring it continues to run smoothly as the demand grows, as traffic goes. So scalability means increasing the server capacity to handle more traffic. Now scalability are of two types vertical scaling and horizontal scaling. I will be explaining you both these scaling with an example. So what is the vertical scaling? Consider an example where in a company there are two DevOps engineers. One is a junior DevOps engineer and here we have a senior DevOps engineer. Junior DevOps engineer can complete two projects in a day whereas senior DevOps engineer can complete four projects in a day. So now in the company you have more workload and you want the task to be done very quickly. You can replace the junior DevOps engineer to the senior DevOps engineer who can do more tasks. So vertical scaling means increasing the size. Here we are increasing the size from junior DevOps engineer to senior DevOps engineer. Now talking this in terms of AWS cloud, if you are using a EC2 instance of T2 micro, which consists of one vCPU and one GB RAM, you can increase the size from T2 micro to M5 large, which is having two vCPUs and eight GB RAM. So this is what vertical scaling means. Let me quickly show you how you can vertically scale your instance. Okay. So I'm here in the EC2 instance dashboard and you can see this is my instance, which is a T2 micro instance running my website. Let's say now the website has more traffic, millions of traffic coming in, T2 micro is not enough. I want to scale up. So I will be scaling up from T2 micro, which is just a one CPU to maybe something bigger instance. To vertically scale an instance, you need to first stop it. Let me show you. So I'm going to click on actions, click on instance settings. And then when I click on change instance type, you cannot change an instance type unless the instance is stopped. So I'm going to stop this instance first. Once it is stopped, then I can change the instance type from T to micro to maybe T to large, T to 2x large, or something which has more CPU, more RAM that could handle the traffic coming into my website. So you can find all the different instance types in this section. So you can find instance types and also know how much CPU and RAM are given for every instance type. So right now our instance is running T2 micro. You can see T2 micro here, which consists of one vCPU, one GB memory. Now I can vertically scale my instance to maybe like T2X large, which has four CPUs and 16 GB of memory. Or maybe if I want more, I can go with T32X large, which has eight vCPUs, 13 GB of RAM. So I can scale up anything I want, but remember when you scale up, you also pay more because you're using more of AWS resources. So now, the instance should be in stop state. You can see it is in stop state. I'm going to click on actions and click on instance settings. Click on change instance type. From T2 micro, I can change this instance to any. I can either vertically scale up or vertically scale down. I can make it from T2 micro to T2 nano or T2 small, but I'm not going to do that. Now I'm going to make it T2 X large, which is, which is this one here having four vCPUs and 16 GB of RAM. Once you have selected the right instance type, click on change, and this will now change your instance type from T2 micro to T2 X large. You can see the new instance type is here. Now, when you want to make it work again, you can start the instance. Now your instance will start working with more capacity, more CPU and more memory. So when I refresh, I can go ahead and start using my website and my website should be able to handle the traffic coming in. So this is how you scale up an instance from T2 micro to T2 X large, which is vertical scaling. Also notice this instance does not have an elastic IP address. So now that I've started the instance after stopping it, the IP address is changed. It's 52 now, but earlier it was 18.233 something. So I've explained to you this in the previous EC2 instance video. Make sure to check it out. Let's go and move on with the next scaling option. The next scaling type is horizontal scaling. Horizontal scaling means increasing the number of servers to handle the increased load. Considering the same example, we know a junior DevOps engineer can do two projects in one day. If you want to do four projects, we can add another junior DevOps engineer. If you want to do six projects, we can add another one. 
if you want to do eight projects we can add another one and if you want to do 10 projects we can add another one so we are adding junior devops engineers to handle the project load coming in similarly if you have more traffic coming inside your instance you can add more number of servers to handle that traffic so instead of having one t2 micro you can have two t2 micro or maybe three t2 micro to handle the load coming in so we can do this by creating similar instances multiple times so we can have four t2 micros serving the same website so that the, when the traffic is increased it can be distributed among different servers backend and you can distribute traffic using a load balancer so when you have horizontal scaling you will be creating new instances automatically using auto scaling group and when these instances are created they will have their own ip addresses and you cannot connect a single domain to multiple ip address so you need a single endpoint such as load balancer so when you have multiple instances it will usually be behind a load balancer and it will usually be created using auto scaling group so you need to understand how to create a load balancer and how do you create auto scaling group that will automatically create servers based on the increased traffic I have explained how to create load balancer and auto scaling group in this particular video. The link is going to be in description. As a DevOps engineer, you need to understand what is a load balancer, how do you create it, what is auto scaling group, how do you create it and connect them together. Load balancers are also used in Kubernetes, which is something advanced. Once you learn AWS properly, you can also learn Kubernetes later on. But this is the video which will teach you how to create load balancers and security group. The link is in description. So we have understood what is horizontal scaling. Horizontal scaling means adding more servers so that it can have more CPU, more RAM to handle the traffic coming in. Next important topic that we need to know is high availability. Every company wants their application to be highly available. And this is why all cloud engineers and DevOps engineers needs to understand what is high availability. High availability means a system is designed to stay online and working even if something goes wrong. Your website application should always be available for the users, for the customers. If they are not, it can cause you business loss or it can cause customer dissatisfaction. So make sure your applications or your systems are always available. To explain high availability with a diagram, let's say you are a company offering services to your customers and you have two offices. One office in New York, second one in San Francisco. Due to some issues, maybe fire or earthquake, your New York office is not operable or you cannot or customers cannot contact to you on New York office. They can still contact to you on San Francisco. So high availability means running your application in at least two data centers or two AZs or maybe multiple regions. So when launching your servers, you can create your first server in US East 1A and the second one in US East 1B so that even if US East 1A is down, you can have your application running on US East 1B. This is what you call as multi AZ deployment. And when you have applications deployed in multiple regions, it is called as multi-region deployment. To give you an example, this is a multi-AZ deployment where you have RDS databases deployed in three different AZs. So you have master database deployed in availability zone A, the read replica in availability zone B, and read replicas also in availability zone C. So you have applications deployed in US East 1, North Virginia region, also in US West 2, and also in US West 1. So if the entire region is down, you will still have your applications running on US West 2. If this region is down, you will still have your applications running on US West 1. So that if one of this database is down, you can still use this as your database, which is a standby instance. So this is how you can make sure your applications databases are highly available when you deploy them in more than one data center or more than one AZ. So this is a multi AZ deployment. And this is what you call as multi region deployment, where you're deploying your applications in more than one region. Companies who have their important applications or production application, they deploy it in more than one region so that their customers should always access their application no matter what. So you can achieve scalability and high availability by deploying your applications or your servers in multiple AZs and also talking to them through a single load balancer, which you can learn in this particular video. So the link is in description. Make sure you follow this video and create your own load balancer and auto scaling group. Now, before we end this video, it's time for a quiz to make sure you understood what is scalability and high availability. So the first question is, which method is commonly used to achieve high availability in cloud environment? The options are using a single powerful server, deploying services across multiple regions or zones, or frequently restarting the systems to prevent failures. Which of these options will make sure your applications are highly available? The next question is on scalability. So which scenario would require vertical scaling instead of horizontal scaling? When will you be using vertical scaling 
rather than horizontal scaling? Is it when you want a single application needing more CPU and RAM or a website needing to handle more concurrent users or a database requiring more storage but no change in CPU or RAM? If you are a good DevOps engineer and you have understood what scalability and high availability is, you should be able to answer this question. This is also a question that you might get in your interview. So put the answer in the comment section. Also, if you want me to create a project of setting up WordPress website on EC2 instance, let me know in the comment section and see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you. And subscribe to CloudChamp.